And myself and the missus had a little ride up to Keswick in the Lake District and of course it's absolutely compulsory to have an hour or so on Oldswater as you're going past. This is free fishing and you can anybody can fish it as long as you've got a, the Environment Agency licence and it is quite spectacular countryside. Uh, in my experience not terribly easy fishing <laughs> so far but maybe I've just been unlucky. Anyway, this time I managed to maintain the tradition of 100% blank. But I'm sure one visit one day my luck will change and it's just such a marvellous place to, uh, to experience anyway, whether you're catching fish or not. Right, so this one was a, an after work session, um, <coughs> not very long, uh, on a uh, ribble tributary, the River Darwin, on the outskirts of the city of Preston. And I rather foolishly forgot to take my waders, so it was a bit of a wet wading exercise. <laughs> Fortunately, the weather wasn't too cold, I had some shorts and some old wellies in the uh, van, so uh, I put those on and took my socks off basically and just went right over the top of the wellies. They're not difficult to catch are they? Dave, uh, my friend, fished with me and he had um, quite an enjoyable session catching uh, dace and chublets on uh, a small nymph fish down in the cross. Uh, I stuck with the stream because I was uh, anxious to get a, a decent trout and with the, uh, the quite heavy flow it seemed quite appropriate. Plus I hadn't seen anything rising either. I got the dry fly set up as well. Uh, but I use the streamer most of the time. And I found that the trout were very localised. Searched a lot of areas with no result at all and then found one particular little glide which seemed to be quite uh, a honeypot. It's a nice one too. 
little uh, black and red streamer came up trumps again. And as I was unhooking one of the nice trout I caught on the streamer, I happened to notice a few dimples on the far bank. Uh, nothing dramatic really, it looked like it could have been small chub or dace or tiny little trout or something. So it seemed like the ideal time to bring the, the dry fly kit into, uh, into service. <coughs> I had a three pound point on, quite a long leader, and a little tiny olive a sort of shuttlecock emerger. And pretty well, first or second cast, something like that, I uh, got a, a rise to the, the fly and missed it. Uh, soon after that, I did connect, and <laughs> they weren't little tiny fish, they were quite respectable brown trout. So it just goes to show that you you can't really disregard these little rises and swirls and bumps in the water. They can be very good fish. The big fish don't make a lot of commotion a lot of the time and they can rise very skillfully and very quietly. Anyway, great to get some sport with the dry fly. Last knock-ins. Um, so it wasn't totally streamer dominated. Um, if the levels had been lower, the nymph and dry fly would have uh, had a bit more play, I think. Bear in mind this is free fishing as well, it's uh, on public land and currently there are no controls whatsoever, so what a bonus. End of the trout season and it's a little bit sad but um, it's been a, night, a very good um, week or so for me and uh, I've really enjoyed it so little break and then I think we'll might try some grayling dry fly or pike uh, on the big stream of flies um, and then a bit of coarse fishing, a bit of uh, roach, chub, dace, whatever depending on river and still water conditions so Still plenty of sport to come and plenty to watch on the channel. And if you like the content, please subscribe and share. And I'll see you next time.